Hi everyone, Anna Kessler here with a new tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a folder for a mini album. So you need a 12 by 12 cardstock. You have all the measurements in the cutting guide that you can download from a link in the description under the video. So we're going to mark our piece at 4 and 8 and then draw two vertical lines. Of course you need two dots for a straight line. So I'm marking again at 4 and 8 and then drawing two vertical lines. Again I remind you you have all the measurements and instructions in the cutting guide that you can download from a link in the description under the video. Then we're going to turn it 90 degrees and mark at 3 inches and 9 inches. And again we're going to do it two dots so we'll have straight lines. So at 3 and 9 and we're going to draw two vertical lines and then you'll be able to see the shape of the folder. So the folder is going to be really handy to add all kinds of interactive pockets and flaps to add lots of photos. So now we're going to use a craft knife and a ruler to cut all four corners. You can do it with the scissors but I like to do it with a craft knife. It's more accurate and faster for me at least. So you can decide if you want to use users scissors sorry or craft knife. So I am cutting all four corners away and then we'll have our folder and next I'm going to show you how to allow the folder to have more mechanisms, photos, flaps, or any other thing that you want to insert inside so it won't be too bulky. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you need a scoreboard or a ruler and a bone folder. And what we're going to do is score first on the 4 inch line, which is the line that we drew with the pencil. So we're going to score on that line and then we're going to go one eighth of an inch to the left and score another line. And then again go one eighth of an inch to the left and score another line until you have three lines. And these score lines, these fold lines are going to be sort of a spine that will allow the folder to be thicker and allow more stuff in. So on the right side we're going to score on the 8 line, the 8 inch line, and again go 1 eighth of an inch to the right and score another line and continue to do so until we have 3 score lines on the other side. We're going to do the same thing for the top. Make a fold line on the line that we drew and then go one eighth of an inch to the right or left depending which side you're working on to create three other fold lines. And these are going to make our folder bulkier. And those spines on all four sides are going to allow us to add lots and lots of stuff in it. So for the inside of the folder I'm going to cover it with the pattern paper. And then I'm going to cut three pieces from black cardstock. And again, you have all the measurements in the cutting guide. So if you want to make this, just go ahead and download it for free from a link in the description under the video. And then you'll have all the measurements and you can make this really cool folder, interactive folder for your mini album. So these pieces are going to be our interactive flap mechanism for the center of the folder. 
So the first piece we're going to score it at three quarters of an inch. Second piece we're going to score at one and a quarter. And the third piece we're going to score at one and three quarters. And then we're going to fold on all the score lines. And then we're going to bind them together to make, going to insert them one inside the other, starting from the large one until the smaller one. And then we'll have six flaps. I'm going to bind them with a simple stapler. The stapler goes on the fold line, of course. And then on these flaps, you're going to add all kinds of pockets, flaps, photos, whatever you want. And this goes in the center of our mini folder or folder for a mini album. So I'm applying glue on the back side and then attaching it to the center of our folder. This folder is a part of a new class that I have that is called the Travel Suitcase Triple Folder Mini Album. So I'm going to show you how this all looks when it's ready. And if you want to take this class, then you have a link in the description under the video. It's a really, really fun class. And this is how the entire mini album looks after it's finished. It has three different folders with lots of pockets and flaps that you can fit a lot, a lot of photos inside. So if you want to join us in this class, you'll have lifelong access to this class it's a self-paced class, so you can work in your own pace, watch each lesson as many times as you want, even in your pajamas. And of course, I'm always here if you have questions. You have supply lists, you have written instructions, you have video tutorials, step-by-step, -step, clear video tutorials to make this amazing project. So thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you next time.